Okay, so in this video, we look at something which is being talked about everywhere from financial news channels to your local taxi drivers. I am, of course, talking about Bitcoin. So what is it? Well, uh, in short, Bitcoin is digital currency. It is money which is stored digitally, which you can use to buy things or pay people with. Um, in that sense, it is a little bit like PayPal, which I'm sure we've all used before. So like other currencies such as euros or dollars, you can exchange your money to buy Bitcoin. So here you can see one Bitcoin was about £10 or $9 in 2013. Um, yet today at the beginning of 2018, it is around £11,000 or $16,000. And yes, many people have made a lot of money from buying and selling Bitcoin. So where can you spend Bitcoin? You can actually spend Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies in many places around the world. Uh, you can see a, a small list here. There are also many ATM machines uh, where you can exchange cash for Bitcoin. So who created Bitcoin? Well, this is actually unknown and is still a mystery as of yet. But as you are about to see, the technology is very impressive, so much so that the creators of Bitcoin have been nominated for the Nobel Prize. But since the identity uh, is still a mystery, no one has come forward. How does it work? Well, this is very technical. The technology is based on cryptography. This is a field of mathematics which is typically studied in the second or third year of a maths degree course. It is based on ideas derived from modular mathematics, group theory and ring theory. Wikipedia is a great source for further reading. So when a transaction takes place, say I send Bitcoin to you, this is recorded on something called the blockchain. This is a, a record of all the transactions to have ever taken place and anyone can view this. So here I'm looking at the blockchain. We can see some small transactions and some very big ones. Uh, if you look here, someone has sent 15 Bitcoins here. What powers the blockchain is a network of very powerful computers which process and verify all the transactions. The computers that process the transactions also have to solve a complicated mathematical problem at the same time. Uh, for this, they get a reward, a very small amount of Bitcoin. And this is how Bitcoin enters into circulation. And this is the process which is known as Bitcoin mining. Now, anyone can mine Bitcoin with their computer or phone, even you. However, with your graphics card or phone, you will generate such a tiny, insignificant amount of Bitcoin and it will probably cost you more in energy usage. So it just wouldn't be worth it. However, there are massive mining farms out there with thousands of rigs hooked up, which are making a lot of money. It is also the reason why in early 2017, graphics cards, which normally cost about £200, were selling for double or triple their value, because at the time it was quite profitable to mine a similar but different cryptocurrency called Ethereum. Is it risky? Yes, Bitcoin can be risky. Although the blockchain records every transaction and is verified, Bitcoin wallets with huge amounts have been stolen. Uh, you can take measures to stop this by storing your Bitcoin offline and use more secure wallets and adding security such as two-factor authentication. Also to consider, we have seen in December 2017 Bitcoin lost 30% of its value in one day. So it's, it's a very volatile currency in that sense. Is Bitcoin a good thing? Well, this has divided opinion. Some people think it is a fraud and some think it is the future. I think it is a good thing as it is decentralized. So one body is not in control. Unlike, for example, the Bank of England or you know the Federal Reserve. But I believe it gives the poorest people in the world a somewhat equal footing. And so I feel it is a good thing. 
Have I invested? Yes, I have invested. I invested a while ago and yes, I have made some good returns which I am pleased about thus far. However, I invested very little and I invested in an amount which I could afford to lose. The key thing is I haven't put my life savings or my house on the line. Should you invest? Well, I get this question all the time. I will never advise anyone to invest directly, uh, but we cannot deny that some people have made absolute fortunes and some people will make a lot of money in the future, but some people will also lose money. It is a risk, like most investments. So if you want to do it, research it and understand it and know what it is before you get into it. How do you invest? Like other currencies, you need to find a place where they exchange your local currency, say pounds or dollars, into cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin or Ethereum. A lot of people would say Coinbase is a good place to start. However, at the moment in early 2018, they trade only four currencies. So if you wish to buy the other hundreds of currencies, you will need an exchange which trades those. So what is the future for Bitcoin? Well, no one knows for sure. However, if I have to guess, I would say the price of Bitcoin will continue to increase as the mining difficulty increases. There will be many price crashes and it will face a lot of challenges from the financial regulatory bodies, but it will be valuable for a long time. A final thought. Yes, there is a lot of money to be made or lost with the wave of cryptocurrencies. However, let us remember that money is not the be all and end all for happiness. Anyway, thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and I will see you on the next video.